The Nigerian Medical Association, NMA, has tasked the federal government to do more in revamping the nation's economy. The chairman of the NMA FCT chapter, Dr. Philip Ekpe, while speaking exclusively to Plus TV Africa in Abuja as part of the 2020 May Day celebration, says government must review its borrowing plan and ensure borrowed funds are used for income-generating expenditures. Dr. Ekpe also urged the federal government to review current welfare package of frontline health workers battling to help government contain the coronavirus pandemic what we want the government to do is not just doing something for enemy but improving the economy of this country no if you notice Nigeria is a growing country we keep taking loans from different countries ideally loans should be taken for investment not for spending on non-investment or non-economic uh, um, businesses you know, if you don't borrow money to construct roads, that will not need money. So the, our banks are empowered in such a way that money are given out for investment so that we employ more workers. For NMA, we think that our economy is very low. We also think that our healthcare system is very, very weak. And you can see it happening during this period of COVID-19, so that we're not ready. You can see the number of tests that we have done over the past five weeks is less than, it's about um, maybe 13,000 tests. Why some other countries who our counterpart are doing over 40, 50,000 tests? And that is because of the weakness of the health system. Government should begin to look into the remuneration and welfare of the healthcare workers. I think this COVID-19 has actually brought it out that there should be priority in health. If you compare the remuneration of healthcare workers in uh, Africa, sub saharan Africa, that is West Africa, and Nigeria, with other places, you find that it's abysmally quite low. Even if comparatively it is fair enough for those even working in government, you know, compared to other parts of the But generally, the earning power of Nigerians as workers is quite very, very low. And joining us live via Skype is Baba Shola Adigui, Public Affairs Analyst. Good afternoon, Mr. Adigui. Good afternoon, Amaka. Okay, good to know that you can hear me. Uh, right straight into the matter. The enemy is asking the federal government to revamp its economy. During this time, what best ways uh, should the government employ in doing so? Well, um, one of the first things, the government has to do is to look into the fiscal policy for the year. That is to look into the 2020 budget. The government has to review that very well. And uh, this is because uh, the government has truly needs money to uh, do a lot of things well, within the country for the year. But at the same time, if that is not reviewed, it's going to affect a lot of sectors in Nigeria for the year. And what do I mean? Look at the losses that have been incurred by most firms, most companies during this period of this lockdown. By the time we resume, and also look at the cold up prices that are actually gone down. So there is no way it has not affected every part of the uh, uh, economic sector. So what the government needs to do, if the government actually really means business, I think the government needs to look at the task in a way to give uh, incentives to companies. To give incentives to companies, at least if there are incentives for companies, then the companies, if they are going to reduce staff at all, at least with this incentive, it's going to reduce and uh, minimize the reduction of unemployment in Nigeria. They are also going to help the companies to also look somewhere else, at least maybe diversify if the opportunities are given by the government. Then also the government needs to um, start look for the alternative, most especially we have been saying this for a very long time that the reliance on food oil will not last for a long time. As I'm talking to you now, the cost of food oil uh, is about maybe $5 per barrel, if I'm very sure of that. It may be $5 per dollar. And, and to produce a barrel of oil is about $25. So what am I saying? That means there is no company that is ready to incur loss. So the best thing the government should do is to look for how to generate more revenue. And giving incentives to companies, it could be as a result of a reduction in land costs, uh, land charges, as a result of a company uh, tactic, at least just to help the economy. All right. Um, 
talking about the economy, you'd agree that when uh, Mr. President gave the new order to return to work by Monday for all sectors, he mentioned that it's part, part of this uh, decision is to boost, you know, to help the economy of the nation. Now, what should we expect by Monday? Most people will be out to begin their businesses, to begin their work as normal, even though it is within the restricted hour, the hours that is agreed upon. What should we expect from Monday? Um, we should not be over excited with the results show because a lot of them have been affected already. Mm -hmm. Now, a lot of people will watch out tomorrow and they're with the intention of resuming in their place of work only to be told that they are not going to be working again. I've received about two, three messages from different people informing me of receiving messages from their company that they have been laid off because of the, uh, because of the lockdown we have just uh, maybe experienced. Nine, but between 9 a.m. and 3 p.m., honestly, is not enough, but it is better than nothing. You get, at least to, to an extent, the government will also be able to generate a little amount of revenue within that period, uh, within, the, within the six hours. And, and what we should expect is this. We are going to have a lot of, high, we are going to have high costs that to be incurred by a lot of companies as a result of running costs. We are going to experience slashes in salaries by companies. We are going to experience uh, um, uh, what's it called unemployment, retrenchment of uh, staff, and the government too. As the gov and the government too, we be unable to do a lot of things because there are a lot of debt on ground that the government has to um, has to service. And without enough revenue, that is going to affect a lot of things that. Um, it's going to affect a lot of things that the government intends to do in, uh, in the 2020 uh, plan. So the government needs to look at a way of generating more revenue, and it's going to affect a lot of people because the truth is, if the government continues to borrow money, that means there is a time that the government will not be able to, 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 to spend the money being generated within the, within the country on, on the people. So what we need to do now is the government, the little we are, the little the government is able to generate, let them pump it on what can give us uh, more revenue, like agriculture, concentrate on agriculture. Let the each state governor start looking at, at, different, uh, at different resources within them so that they can generate enough revenue. I'm going to tell you, if by May, June, the, gener the, the, the revenue is not coming up, by May, June, July, I can tell you that no, there will be no there will be no revenue to allocate to state. And what that means, it means that most this the thirty thousand naira minimum wage that the federal government promised is not going to uh, happen again. A lot of people will be hold salary. So the government has a lot to do. It's a, it's a serious challenge. It's not so this is not about Nigeria. It's a, it's, it's a general problem worldwide because nobody prepared to it. The only peculiar thing about Nigeria is that we never had excess. We never had excess. In the little we have, we ensure that we spend it, whether the shoot it judiciously or not judiciously. All right, the government has asked that, you know, we'll go back to work by Monday. Uh, some conversations are also going on in some quarters saying, well, if the government has said go back to work, there, will be, there shouldn't be need for people to be expecting palliatives uh, from the government. What's your position on that? Well, the truth is, if people are to go back to work, it means that they are telling you go and work and have more money. In other words, the government is trying to shield the, the burden on her. The government is trying to share the burden on that. So it is expected that within the six hours that we are expected to work, for example, they got stays there between 9 a.m. and 3 a.m. or go stays is between 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. 5 p.m. So it is expected that within that period, that within that period that you are expected to work, work whatever you generate, make sure make use of it for yourself. Don't expect anything from the government. And that is the truth. Because the government does not even have enough to even share. Look at the palaces that will, the, the palaces shared by different governors in their different states. A lot of, maybe, maybe what was shared or what was announced was not even up to the one-fifth or one-eighth of the population of that state. So when we they reach, in, when we are in a state of 7 million and we are sharing for about 500,000, so what do you expect of the 6.5? Even the palliative shared, what is the quantity? The palliative that will not even last there for two, three days, most especially in a large family. So people need to work, but the question now is, where is the money? Where is the money? 
for people to buy products for the people that are working, or for, for people to pay for services that are rendered. Right. Thank you so very much, Mr. Tegui. I'm pleased to stay safe where you are.